Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. You're watching South Asia Newsline and Cut Top Stories. We are tracking for you on Monday, the 25th of March. Don't lecture, focus on stopping terror factories. India hits South and Pakistan. Pakistan wants to improve trade relations with India, says Foreign Minister. And activists at UN demand Pakistan to vacate POK and Kirgit Pakistan. And now for all the details. India on Monday slammed Pakistan for supporting terrorists and said Islamabad should be advised to stop terror factories that continue to launch cross-border terrorist attacks in Jammu and Kashmir. Representing India at the 148th Inter-Parliamentary Union Assembly in Geneva, Rajya Sabha Deputy Chairman Hari Vansh Narayan Singh said, IPU members are well aware that Pakistan has an established history of harboring, aiding and actively supporting terrorists. Criticizing Pakistan over remarks against India, he said that lectures by a nation which has an abysmal track record of democracy is laughable. Singh stated that Pakistan should not make such allegations and false narratives on platforms like IPO. Calling the union territories of Jammu and Kashmir and Ladakh integral part of India, he said that no amount of propaganda from anyone can change this fact. India has hit out at Pakistan lately on many occasions on international platforms. Hostel, normal record of hosting one of the largest number of terrorists was striked by the Indian Security Council. I trust that Pakistan will draw the correct lessons for the book of its own people. Thank you. India's Foreign Minister S.J. Shankar on Sunday spoke with his Russian counterpart Sergei Lavrov and expressed condolences following the terror attack that killed more than 120 people in Russia. The incident marks the deadliest terrorist attack on Moscow in decades and has prompted global condemnation and expressions of solidarity. Jay Shankar in a post on X conveyed India's deepest condolences. Earlier, Prime Minister Narendra Modi also condemned the heinous terrorist attack. The tragic events unfolded on Friday evening on the western outskirts of the Russian capital. The concert venue with an estimated capacity of 7,500 was almost full when the terrorists struck. Following the attack, Russian President Vladimir Putin has vowed to punish the terrorists. And Pakistan this past weekend said that it would try to improve trade relations with India which was suspended in 2019 following the abrogation of Article 370. While addressing a press conference, Foreign Minister Ishak Dar said Pakistan's business community was eager to resume trade activities with India. Islamabad had downgraded its bilateral relations and suspended trade ties with New Delhi after India abrogated Article 370 of the Indian Constitution, which granted special status to Jammu and Kashmir. It bifurcated the state into two union territories. Diplomatic ties between the two neighbours have remained strained since then. Pakistan has demanded that India roll back the abrogation as a prerequisite for improving relations with India. New Delhi has rejected the demand, maintaining that Jammu and Kashmir is an integral part of India and matters relating to the region are the country's internal matter. Moving on. Activists from POK and Gilgit Baltistan staged a demonstration in Geneva recently to raise their voice against Pakistani occupation and atrocities in the occupied territories. A report. Political activists from Pakistan occupied Kashmir and Gilgit Baltistan held a protest outside the UNHRC in Geneva recently, demanding Pakistan to vacate its forces from the occupied territories. Reports of human rights violations in these regions have been documented by various rights organizations. These violations include restrictions on freedom of expression, arbitrary arrest, extrajudicial killings and media restrictions. We are living animals' lives in, in Gilgit, Pakistan and POJK. We want Pakistan out of POJK uh, uh, and, and Gilgit, Pakistan as uh, advised by uh, 
the United Nations. So that's the main thing. We are pro protesting outside United Nations because our people, it is 77th consecutive year of oppression and uh, uh, violation of basic human rights and uh, fundamental uh, absence of fundamental freedom. There have also been reports of land confiscation and displacement of local communities in Gilgit Baldistan, often linked to so-called development projects in the name of the China-Pakistan Economic Let's Corridor. And I am here to represent our people against the occupation of the Pakistan, looting and killing of our people, our norms, our history, everything is dismantled by the Pakistani regime and Pakistani occupation. Moving on, former Maldives President Ibrahim Mohamed Soli has urged incumbent President Mohamed Muizu to stop being stubborn and prioritize dialogue to address financial challenges and foster relations with neighboring countries. The comments at an event in Mali follow Muizu's recent appeal to India for debt relief. Soli highlighted the misrepresentation of financial realities, pointing out that despite owing more to China, Muizu sought debt restructuring discussions with India. Muizu's stance on India has been contentious, with bilateral relations worsening since his assumption of office. His call for the withdrawal of Indian military personnel have strained ties, despite his subsequent claims of maintaining positive relations. And people across India and Nepal celebrated the Festival of Colours Holi on Monday by smearing each other with colours and dancing to beats of drums. Celebrated at the onset of spring, Holi is associated with the eternal love of Hindu Lord Krishna and Radha. Celebratory fervour engulfed India on Monday as people across the country celebrated the festival of Holi, smeared in colours of love and joy. Holi is the much-awaited festival among Hindus, especially among the youth, as people forget mutual differences and sprinkle powdered colours on each other. Heralding spring, Holi represents a time of forgiveness, renewed friendship and the triumph of good over evil. The festival is also associated with the eternal love of Lord Krishna for Goddess Radha. Various pre-Holi festivities were also observed preceding the main occasion. हमारे यहाँ पे दोल मतलब भाईचारा है लेकिन यहाँ है रंगों का उत्सव और हम सब मिलके बहुत खुशियों से बहुत दिन से प्रतीक्षा करने के बाद आज का दिन हम लोगों को मिलता है और हम लोग जी जान से इसको खेलते हैं Similar scenes were witnessed in neighboring Nepal, dancing to the tunes of drums and cymbals. The locals threw colors at each other, engaging in fun, frolic celebrations at the Basantpur Square in the city, which is also known as the Holy Square because of the festivities. <laughs> रंगो चार पर हो जहाँ जाए आपने देरे ही रंग लाइन चाहिए ना साथी भाई संग कोई कोई मानसे बाहर तीर हो उनसे ना वो तीन अर रही बेला पार ना को लाकी पनी हो ये उड़ा है उस बनाइए को चार पर वो बनाइए को है ना आज अगर जो सरी है बॉसन तो पूर्व में ऐसे रंग मेरे बाहर है कुछ ना तेरे सरी नहीं है हमने Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India.